In the end, a frustrating afternoon, Andrew. Yeah, obviously the boys are boys are disappointed in there because uh, so close to, to getting three points. But um, you know, it's football. Um, their goals, obviously, it's it's really sort of spawning out. It's dropped to him, and you know, we we invited a little bit of pressure at the end, where maybe if we didn't have done that, they obviously they one of them wouldn't have dropped to him. But we we invited a little bit. Um, but on the positive note, we we look at his six unbeaten, um, and the next next batch of games are massive. We want to keep the run going, and uh, you know, I think everyone can tell that we've turned the corner. Um, we're looking like a proper team, and and we know we still got more to to give and um, to to keep progressing, and I think we can do so in it. As a side, you must have been pleased with the first half performance. It, it looked quite controlled, but in hindsight, could you have done with another goal? Yeah, I think that that's what it, I think that's what it needed to sort of seal it. Even at one nil, most of the second half, we still looked comfortable, um, but we just invited pressure, but not sort of real pressure where you you could see see a goal coming. The only way I think you could see a goal coming was something lucky uh, how it happened. That was, I think, how they was going to score something, just rebounding and dropping to him. I, I don't think they sort of looked like scoring apart from that. Um, maybe one or twice, like they got in um, and we, we defended well. Boys were chucking their bodies everywhere and we wanted to, to win. And I think everyone could see that. I think everyone could tell we wanted to win the game and we just disappointed. Like I said, the next goal, I think, would have, uh, if we could get the next one, it would have made it a lot more comfortable. But, you know, weren't to be. But again, they're, they're a good side. They're on a decent run of form. So they're, they're in that position for a reason. They're a good team. Um, but I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're disappointed not to get through. Tall side and it always looked like free kicks and, and set pieces at least were, were might trouble us. Is that something we had to work on in the week or? Uh... Yeah, I think obviously one of the, the one of the centre halves was a real big boy and he, he was a threat. And yeah, um, and I think that was their sort of from from set pieces they they looked to hit him. Um, and like I said he was a giant and he, and, and he attacked things well. And I think it was him who won the header to sort of rebound to the fella. Um, but that's like I said, we, we in in general we we still dealt with it really. It was only like a little bit of luck where it's bounced off and uh, fell to the lad perfectly. But. Again, like I said, that's that's football. A few few of the times before that, we was getting the blocks in, we was chucking ourselves in, but you know it's, um, it weren't to be. Um, and I think we just needed to create a little bit more. If we created a little bit more, a few more chances, um, I think it could have been different. But it's it's not a bad point. You said earlier on, you think you turned the corner. You've got a new midfield partner, also Jake Foster Kasky. Is that uh, that made a difference? Yeah, yeah. I think we'll. Uh, I know Jake really well. Obviously, I spent a good few years with him at Brighton. Uh, I know what he's about. He's a, He's a good lad. He got real good talent, and he and he wants to do well. He's hungry. Um, I think everyone in the team's so hungry to to achieve success. Um, and the gaffer re is really inst installed that in the boys. You, you can tell how ambitious he is, how much he wants to to get out of this league. And uh, and I think every one of the lads are like that. Uh, and that's what you need. You need everyone in the change room, working working their socks off to to all pull in the same direction. And we got that. And I think, like I said, six unbeaten. You don't get that for by not having that. And and it's starting to really build them. You've got one of games coming up now um, <coughs> after next weekend, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, you can look at those sort of games as, as really the. the what our season's going to be? Yeah, without that, it's a, it's a massive opportunity to put a lot of points on the t uh, on the board, uh, and I think we're we're all looking at that. Like I said, it's six weeks of Saturday, Tuesday, so that's what I don't know. I, I'll let you do the maths, but there's a lot of points to to play for, and we're we're hungry as to to make sure it's a it's a real big opportunity to to do something. And uh, happy that we fit this levels of your own performances. You're going to uh, you're going to make a call on the experience over that period. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I feel feel as fit as a fiddle. Um, you know, I've played every game, uh, and I wanted to keep, keep doing that. I feel, I feel great. Um, got young boys around me, which I like looking after. Um, and it's it's a young team, so it's, to have uh, hopefully me keep keep playing without them out. Um, but fitness wise, I feel great. Uh, I'm loving it here. Um, I love playing for Charlton, and I want to give everything I can from now till the end of the season to to see what we can achieve. Well, I'm um, uh, the manager was saying that you say you love playing for Charlton. The manager was saying in his program notes uh, that he's falling in love with the club. Uh, the crowd also seem to be coming around a bit as well. They're, they're behind you today because I'm an intermittent visitor and this is the, the atmosphere today was obviously a lot more positive. Uh, up in the stand as well. Yeah, that, you can feel that definitely, and I think that's rubbing off on the fans because I think they can see a team out there that want to win, and I think. I'm a big football fan. If I go to a game and I see players wanting to to give everything for the shirt and, and wanting to get three points and wanting to win, 
then you, then you get behind the boys, and they've been brilliant. Um, the away fans have been brilliant, and I think, like I said, if you see that, it rubs off on people. Um, and then when you hear that, it rubs off on you on the pitch as well. So uh, we want to create an atmosphere here that, that's bouncing, that's rocking, and the only way we can do that is by winning games and giving it everything we got. And I think they've seen that they've got a little bit lucky with a goal out it sort of dropped to them. But before that, they could see how much we wanted it. Like I said, we was chucking ourselves at everything. Um, but we, if we create a few more chances, we, we would have gone to win the game probably more comfortable. But like I said, they ain't no no uh, Mickey Mouse team. They're a real good side. Um, they, they're on an un unbelievable run. So we knew it was going to be tough, but we, we probably should have won. But, you know, that's football. But like you said, yeah, the fans getting behind us right behind us has been brilliant. Disappointed for Nathan, obviously, uh, you're going to miss three games there. Yeah, gutted for Nathan because he, he's made an impact since he's come in. He's been really bright, really positive. Uh, you can tell he's a threat. He, he works his socks off as well and he's got that mentality where, like I said, it rubs off on people because he's bright, he's busy. Um, I think he, he's made a genuine attempt to, to get the ball up. Uh, at the time, you know, you look back on it, um, if the video replays and all that, and it probably looks worse than what it was because in, in real speed, the, I think the two boys have just gone in for it. He's, the fella's just nicked it away from him and, he, and he's honestly tried to get the ball and it, he's ended up obviously catching him. So, yeah, he, he's bitterly disappointed because he, he was finding his feet and um, for him to miss, I think it would be three games, is, um, is really disappointing. But... It, with the Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, that's going to go really quick. Uh, so before you know it, he'll it, be back available again and it, he's a big player for us. The fans, we've sort of been trying to work out points per game ratios that we need to get to the, to the playoffs or the target point level, 74, 75, that sort of thing. Have you, got, have you guys set that, that particular target or any target like that? We, we obviously that's our goal. We want to do that, um, but I think we're just taking it game by game now. I think that's the best way to approach it. We've got 18 massive games, 18 cup finals, and if like I say, if we can keep that unbeaten run, then then the points tally will hopefully be enough. Um, and we we, like, we just got to concentrate on on winning every game that we play and or not getting beat. But we, we approach it like today. We want to win every game we play, uh, and if we can do that, keep the momentum going. Let's see where it can take us. Ow.